So English has basically, in English, nouns can be divided into non-count nouns and count nouns. And they are used slightly different in sentences, and this lesson is about identifying whether or not a noun is a count noun or a non-count noun. And for this lesson, I'm going to be doing a cooking lesson because I think that will bring um, lots of different items into that you can uh, identify with, and different forms of items as well. A count noun tends to be something you can count. This is a potato. This is two potatoes. Um, a really obvious way to tell the difference between a count noun and a non-count noun is that count nouns will get an S added to them when you increase the number. So one potato is potato and two potatoes gets an S added onto the word potato. This bag of potatoes, uh, we're talking about a large quantity, potato still gets an S added to it. Vegetable oil, for example, is a non-count noun. You can't say, I want two vegetable oils. That doesn't really work. You have to say, I need a teaspoon of vegetable oil. And even though we've added um, a container similar to a bag of potatoes, when you say, I want a cup of vegetable oil, or um, a can of vegetable oil, the oil does not get um, S, only the um, container that is containing the um, liquid. And the reason for this is that it's hard to count liquid. What would qualify as two vegetable oils? Two drops? Two grams? Yeah, that's why um, it doesn't get the S added to it. Unlike with um, something like potatoes, which is something pretty easy to count. I'm going to be making mashed potatoes. Woo! Another ingredient for mashed potatoes is butter. Is this a count or a non-count noun? A teaspoon of butter. So butter is a non-count noun. The reason for this is that even though we have it um, wrapped in um, shapes like this, the butter itself isn't really something you can really count unless you split it into measurable quantities. This is a half cup of butter. So, what happens to a potato once you peel it, though? To peel potatoes, you need a potato peeler. Now, do you think a potato peeler is a count or a non-count noun? If you said it was a count noun, you'd be correct. The reason for this is that I've had multiple different potato peelers. You could say, I need two potato peelers, please. I bought a whole bunch of potato peelers. So what happens when you peel a potato? These are some potato peels. You might have noticed that even though it's going to be kind of hard to count a large amount of potato peels, even they have different shapes, the potato peels themselves are still um, count nouns. This is one potato peel, and this is a couple of potato peels. Here are a few cutting boards. You might have noticed I used the word few, and the word boards had an S on them, so that makes this a count noun. However, here is one knife. Is this a counting noun? It's a counting noun, because these are pretty easy to count. So yeah, I need one knife and a cutting board. Now this is a pot. Count noun or non-count noun? It's a count noun. So now we just gotta cut the potatoes into different chunks. So even though I only chopped one potato, this is called a potato chunk. These are two potato chunks. So the chunks of potatoes are still using count nouns because it's still pretty simple what is identified as a chunk. Now we have a pot full of chopped potatoes. So the next thing you need is some water. Now. Water does seem quite different from the other um, items we've basically um, handled so far. Considering what you know about um, ca count nouns, do you think water is a count noun or a non-count noun? It's a non-count noun. So, I'm going to need some water to boil my potatoes. How much do you think I need? A lot. A little couple cups of water. Need a lot of water. So now we're going to be cooking the pot of water until it starts to boil. So, how about this colander? Is this a count noun or a non-count noun?
So it's time to pour out these potatoes. And then I got a pot. So the next thing to put in the pot is butter. You might remember that butter is a non-count noun. So we need about a tablespoon of butter. Next thing I'm going to put in here is some salt. Is salt a count noun or a non-count noun? Particles of salt are so small, it's kind of crazy to expect someone to pick up a piece and count based off of that. So because of that, salt is a um, non-count noun. I'm also going to put pe pepper. Pepper is the same as salt. Next is to put back in the chopped, boiled potatoes into the container. Gonna need a smasher to smash potatoes. Is a smasher a non count noun or a count noun? It's a count noun. I could have five smashers. So most tools are count nouns. And most um, small items with particles are um, non-count nouns because they're hard to count. How about sour cream? What would you say this would be? Yep, it's a non-count noun. You need a dollop sour cream. You just you put the whole thing in there. I don't know. Okay, we got some mashed potatoes. So you might notice that I'm putting an S on the end of mashed potatoes. You might not. Even though mashed potatoes are this very soft consistency, it'd be hard to count this. Like here's a spoonful of mashed potatoes. Why do you think that mashed potatoes um, is still a count noun even after its form has changed. It's now incredibly hard to count this, but it's still a count noun in American English. It has to do with the fact that it came from a potato. So when we hear mashed potatoes, the word potato, we're thinking about what it came from, that it's made out of potatoes and mash. We just combined the what happened to them. So how does that compare to applesauce? Both of them have similar consistencies and are made by a different product that is a count noun. Apples are count nouns. So you would assume that th that would make applesauce a count noun, but it's not. Applesauce is a non-count noun and the reason for this is how word compounds are put together. It ends with the word sauce. If you said sauce apples, I have some sauce apples, which is not how um, the word was compounded in English, then apple would get um, the S added to it because apples is a count noun. But because when um, it became a word compound, sauce came after the word apple, it became a non-count non noun to match how sauce is a non-count, the, the word sauce is a non count, a non-count noun. So, if this was potato mash, you'd, you'd say um, potato mash rather than mashed potatoes. So that's right there is why just because something is not countable, depending on the order the words go in, if it ends in a word that is countable, of a product's countable, then it tends to go underneath a count noun. But if a word compound ends in something that's not count countable, like a sauce or mashed things, then it would be a non-count.